M0 FXP Radtail RT950 just tinkering with the APRS which as far as I can see you have to use on the C band here now we've put the settings in I'll show you them in a sec if we go F and then Beacon TX it picks it up this is what I'm seeing I am getting my SSID I'm also getting the fact that that was an F this is an FT3D I love these little sets quickly look there FT3D and as we turn you'll see in status text and raw data okay so it's not completely there yet now the thing I can't get it to do if I back out is to transmit now I've been going through all the settings I can't find a transmit so let's just show you the settings that I put in to get us to this point uh, and then um, as we as we get the instruction manual and the C CPS my CPS isn't loading at the moment we can do more but to turn on the GPS which you can see by pressing the VM hold it down so I've got a GPS lock and yes this one does have Bluetooth at the moment I'm seeing Bluetooth uh, for programming so there's my location go back to turn this on go menu and then go across until you see the APRS light up press OK the blue OK is the menu and then look down one number two press OK and I've just turned that on look on and then I go down one again and I I put in no you can put in your fixed position there if you want to time zone I definitely need to change that I'll leave it there a minute distance unit in kit well, I'll go in miles because I'm miles C mile altitude unit well doesn't matter that much so there's that go back beacon setup now this is what I have done so press select call sign press OK and then type in the old-fashioned way M0 FXB that I did um, you can change the ABC here with the hash to go one two three or lowercase so that's easy select Confirm. and then go back oh you probably don't need to go back actually SSID five path there you are. and I I did select wide one wide two I'll change it to wide one see if that makes any difference but wide one wide Confirm. two use a path I haven't changed that so unless that's the problem digital SS I did sorry digi one SSID path and you've got two choices there Menu. I've even gone into the buttons looking to enable one of the buttons as a as a as an APRS TX so sorry back to beacon path user path source position that's where you can choose GPS or fixed your station symbols they're all there custom icons all there oh I shouldn't be police really should I <laughs> um, Mike E type of duty there's your message and I realized I could edit it I could try send message now and see what that does actually but I just edit it first and you can see to, to clear that you just press the back and it deletes it and then you can start typing and look numbers and letters back so we try send message Confirm. okay we turned it on will it just do it so PTT wise we want something that says beacon TX or something like that so if I go you have to press not the if you look here it's one two third one down I believe you see it's transmitting but that's not a transmission because inside an APRS radio you need a modem so it's like the old-fashioned phones and when you they first connected them to computers and it will transmit the, the you know the data um, so if we go into and you can see that if it was well you can see that APRS is turned on here look APRS there uh, TW I didn't turn TW on but I wonder what TW stands for so if I went into menu, menu go to go right until you see user keys yeah so we've got all these different user keys let's try PF2 press OK now I was looking for now radio just means you, you it will turn on the radio 
monitor, scan, search. You choose what you want these to do. SOS, spectrum, I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, be ah, I found it. Right, okay, excellent. I couldn't find it on the other ones. Okay, we might have some success here. So, Beacon TX. Confirm. That was on PF2. Oh, we might get lucky now. So, PF2 is one of these two. Let's just do it. Not that one. No, that's just trying to transmit there. Let me just give me a minute to test. I might put it onto one of these buttons here. Um, and because you can just go menu, user key, see if I find it here. See, it might want it on, um, it might not let you do it on a, on a number. Let's try it. Uh, let's try number five. I'm sitting, as far as I can see, Beacon TX is an honor number, so you have to do it on the PF. So PF2 we done. I'm going to do it on both long and short. Unless I'm blind and I'm just not seeing it. Beacon TX, under spectrum. Confirm. Back out. Let's work out which button to use. So yeah, even though I've set the button PF1 and 2, long, long and short, shall I say. Uh, to TX, it's not TXing yet, but I've only been tinkering for half an hour, so we'll do another video. But we're uh, we're gradually, you know, learning the functions of this radio, and it's it's be it's a beautiful radio. Uh, there's no doubt about it. it. Sounds great, lovely screen, and we'll be doing a new, uh, backup, pit, you know, like a a boot picture on this because it will look so good. Thanks for watching, and there's you know a couple of tricks. So if you hold down the OK, it will turn on the spectrum. And scan, if you hold down the, the red, it starts to search. That's the UHF at the moment. Uh, so it's just a fun radio. Bye for now.